Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about taking time for yourself and practicing self-care. This time of year can be incredibly stressful for a lot of people. Whether you're still in school and getting ready for finals or out of school and just getting ready for the holidays, it can be really overwhelming. I know it's sometimes hard to be able to take time for yourself and not feel guilty about it, especially when life around you feels so hectic. Even so, with all the benefits that self-care provides, it can be hard to say no. So like I said, in my video today, I'm going to share my top five favorite ways to take time for myself and de-stress. I know these might not be for everyone, but hopefully you can find something that you want to try. The first way that I like to relieve stress is to go on either a run or a walk. I didn't start running until June of 2020. Being in quarantine was a very stressful time for everyone in the world. Making the transition to taking classes online, doing work online, was stressful in itself, but then combined with being stuck inside, not being able to see friends or family, with no end date in sight, led to high levels of stress and general mental unwellness. In the time of COVID-19, levels of stress and anxiety rose to 27% during the time of lockdown in the US. Personally, I knew that it would be irresponsible if I were to go out and participate in some activities during this health crisis, but I needed some way to get out of the house. Before this, I was never much of a runner. You could even say I hated it. Running had been recommended to me as a way to relieve stress, but I always brushed it off because I just didn't want to. Being stuck home, I decided to give it a try. While it was difficult at first and I didn't enjoy it, after a few weeks, I was able to fall into a routine of going on runs either in the morning or at some point in the day. Running, as well as other forms of exercise, increase concentrations of norepinephrine, which is a chemical that helps to moderate your brain's response to stress. Taking this time out of your day to listen to your favorite music, take time for yourself, and just be out in the fresh air is so important. I know that running isn't for everyone because believe me, for the longest time, it wasn't for me. A simple alternative to running is walking. This is still a great form of exercise and has just as many health benefits as running. One of my favorite parts of running is that I'm able to create different playlists that cater to my different moods when running or walking. I linked some of my favorite playlists to use while running and walking in this video, so be sure to check them out and also drop some of your favorite songs in the comments below that you think I should add to my running playlists. The second way that I like to practice self-care is by spending time with my pets. It has been scientifically proven that spending time with animals can decrease cortisol levels, which is a stress-related hormone, and it can also lead to lower blood pressure. My family is lucky enough to have two dogs, Luna and Augie. One of their favorite activities to do is to go on hikes with my dad, and getting to join them is always a lot of fun. Studies have shown that by interacting with dogs, it can help to reduce stress and improve overall health. Even just by petting or cuddling your dog, it can lead to a more positive mood. This may be more difficult if you are in school and you can't go home whenever you want to play with your pet, but there might still be a way for you to get that dose of dog that you need. Over the years, several colleges have been adding a finals week de-stressing activity featuring dogs. What these colleges do is they bring a group of dogs to a central location on campus where students are able to go and play with the dogs for as long as they need. This is especially beneficial during college exams weeks because students have found that by playing with dogs directly before their exam led to them feeling more confident and relaxed going into the exam, and it ultimately led to better grade results. So if you're a stressed college student, be sure to take advantage of this offer if your school has it. And if not, here are some extra cute pictures of my dog because they believe in you. Another great way to de-stress is to eat chocolate. Now, I know this may sound fairly simple, but the health benefits are amazing. Studies have shown that by eating dark chocolate, it can be beneficial for lowering stress levels. As a result of the compounds found in dark chocolate, eating it in small amounts when stressed can lead to an individual feeling more calm and content. It also has been found that eating dark chocolate can regulate cortisol levels, which like I said earlier, is a stress hormone, and it can stabilize your metabolism. Now, my favorite chocolate to have is Hershey Kisses, just because they're so easy and portable, but any kind of dark chocolate you prefer will be beneficial for you. One of my favorite ways to de-stress is to bake for my family and friends. I love to bake, and love to even more so during the holiday season. Because baking requires following directions and paying attention to detail, it allows people to focus on the action of baking and not get distracted by the stress in their lives. 
Baking cookies is one of my favorite parts of the holidays, so the fact that I'm able to take breaks from my work that may be causing me stress and try out different recipes is a great way to help me with my stress. Since the holiday season is all about giving, I also love to be able to give these cookies to my friends and family for them to enjoy. Studies have shown that if you give a gift without the expectation of getting anything in return, your mental health will improve. Being able to find a way to de-stress that I enjoy and being able to share this with my family and friends has been extremely beneficial and one of my favorites to this day. One other way to practice self-care is to treat yourself. Now, this may sound a little counterintuitive since we are in the season of giving, but it is important to give back to yourself. Treating yourself could look different for everyone. This could be buying yourself a coffee, taking yourself out to lunch, or getting something that you've been holding off on buying for yourself. Practicing self-care has shown to help people manage stress, increases energy, and improves overall health. My favorite way to treat myself is to take myself out for a meal, particularly breakfast, when I know I'm going to have a stressful day ahead of me, and bringing my family with me makes it even more enjoyable. It has been proven that if individuals take the time to treat themselves, this action can spread and other people will begin to treat themselves and others. Especially during the holiday season, this is an action that can be beneficial for so many people. Go ahead and treat yourself this holiday season. You deserve it. I know that everyone deals with stress differently, but it is so important to take the time to figure out what de-stressing and self-care techniques work best for you. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my techniques and how they work out for you if you try any of them. If you don't like any of these techniques, let me know your favorite ways to practice self-care and I'll give some of them a try. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and be sure to go out and enjoy this holiday season. And remember, don't stress too much.